Welcome back. This is Dr. Jin Sung. We're at Clinical Excellence Meets Excellent Results. Today we're going to talk about sleep and mouth taping. What is it? What are some of the benefits? What are some of the drawbacks? And will it improve our sleep quality? So let's get right into it. Dr. Konstantin Pavlovich Buteko is the one who created the idea of nasal breathing back in the 1950s or 60s. If you breathe through your mouth, there can be issues with development, facial growth or proper facial growth, occlusion of the teeth or malocclusion, increases cavities because of pH issues, gum disease, as well as increasing carbon dioxide basically to our brain. How do we know if we are a mouth breather? We often toss and turn at night, not getting a restful sleep. You'll have bad breath. You'll drool. You can also grind your teeth or bruxism, right, at night. And then you'll have increased night uh, urination. So you'll get up in the middle of the night for no reason, go to the bathroom, come back, right? So you're not sleeping through the night. So what are the, some of the benefits of nasal breathing, breathing through your nose? One, physiologically, you're humidifying the air, right? You're getting dry air, let's say. You're humidifying it through the nasal passage into the lungs. It also filters the air and warms the temperature before it hits the lungs, okay? Benefits of nasal breathing. It decreases snoring, improves sleep apnea, improves REM sleep and the quality of sleep overall, improves nitric oxide. So nitric oxide helps improve vasculature or dilation of your blood vessels to improve circulation. So nitric oxide, when, it, when oxygen hits the paranasal sinuses, it creates nitric oxide. So it's very important when you sleep uh, to have more nitric oxide because one, it'll improve hypertension, improves your immune system, and improves cognition overall. So there are a lot of benefits to this. Now, in terms of studies, There are not many, okay? Usually the studies are very small samples of people and uh, there are not many studies. The benefits that are listed in the prior side of this uh, board is coming from actual clinical work or from patients. Uh, they see the benefits, right? When they have like an aura ring or a watch that monitors their sleep patterns, they notice that when they tape their mouth, they have improved sleep quality overall. Now, with the studies, they did one on asthma and they saw no change. They did one where they wanted to see how um, nasal breathing would impact the prefrontal cortex. So it shows that it increases deoxygen uh, hemoglobin or deoxyhemoglobin, right? Basically, it's hemoglobin that's not oxygenated and it will look more like a purple or blue color, right? But it doesn't change the actual oxygen level. So that's one of the studies. It also shows that it impacts the prefrontal cortex, right? Because you're getting oxygenation, proper oxygenation, uh, to the uh, prefrontal cortex if you breathe through the nose versus through the mouth. So the prefrontal cortex is for executive function, right? Decision making, cognition, attention, right? The ability to uh, pay attention for long periods of time, impulses, and ADHD. Basically, that's what it is, the prefrontal cortex. So, what are some of the taping methods here? You can use a product called uh, Som Somnifix, 3M micro Micropore, the sensitive tape version of it, you can do a myo brace and a chin strap, okay? So the way you can tape is this. So if you look at Somnifix, it's a horizontal tape that goes over your mouth with a small slit through the middle. So you can actually breathe through the mouth if you need to, okay? The way I would do it is a vertical tape initially. So you take the tape, from just under your nose, tape down to under your chin because that'll help prevent opening of the mouth. 
but you have a little gap on the side to, to see if it, it will be beneficial for you. So you can do a vertical tape or you can cr do a cross tape across the mouth and again it gives you a little bit of room to breathe if necessary. You can do the horizontal tape all the way across, right? Uh, that's for people who are pretty confident they can breathe through their nose um, and you can cross horizontally. The Somnifix has a little slit in the middle so it lets you breathe if necessary, right? The whole idea of the taping is really just about keeping the mouth closed, right? Uh, retraining your brain to keep your mouth closed at night when you're sleeping so you can breathe through your nasal passages and get all the benefits of breathing through the nose, okay? Now, there's going to be some concerns here. If you have nasal congestion, right, you have block sinuses, you probably can't do this, right? You have to get that medically cleared first. If you have polyps that block the sinuses, you may not breathe appropriately, so you have to be careful. And then there are some people who have vascular issues, meaning when they lie down, the blood vessels in their sinuses fill up and they, can't, uh, they feel like they can't breathe through their nose. So some individuals need to be careful. Also, when you have like really bad sleep apnea, uh, you have to be careful. But you can use taping with um, a CPAP machine. Right? If you have a, a CPAP that goes into the nose area, you can't go ahead and tape your mouth underneath. However, you have to talk to your physician about that. Okay, So there's a lot of benefits to it, um, but the studies are not there yet. So there probably need to be uh, larger studies to show all the benefits that we talked about. But it's worth a try if you have really poor sleep and really there's not many drawbacks to trying it. I would suggest doing maybe 30 days uh, to get an idea if it's going to help you. If you're somebody who's very claustrophobic or just concerned about the breathing aspect of it, you can go ahead and tape your mouth during the day and see how you do. Can you breathe through your nose um, without any discomfort or panic or etc. Right? So you want to be able to do that during the day before you try it at night if you're one of those individuals who are concerned about just blocking off the mouth. All right. My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.